everybody and happy Memorial Day. Today is Way In Monday. I am on week three of OMADing. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Caroline and I've dedicated myself to 30 days of OMAD. That is one meal a day, anything I want to eat, anything I want to drink. So what happens is I water fast except for some black coffee every money, every morning but I water fast for 23 hours and for one hour out of every day, I can eat and drink whatever I want. So I have been doing this for three weeks and I'm just jumping on here to share with you my results and review week three with you. So at the beginning of the week, I started out at 227.2. And this morning I weighed in at 224.4. So that is a 2.8 pound loss. Feel pretty good about that. You know, last week I had lost 2.2 pounds and I was a little bit defeated in that. But after some input from friends and a lot of our YouTube friends like C-Dub, he said, you know, that kind of weight loss is true weight loss. So I'm starting to look at my journey a little bit different. Slow, steady, but it's real. So I'm pretty pumped about a 2.8 weight loss. So let's recap one, two, and three real quick as far as results. So week one, I had a whopping six pound loss. Week two, I had a 2.2 pound loss. And now in week three, I have had a 2.8 pound loss. So that is an overall weight loss of 11 pounds. I think that's pretty good. So how did I get through to get that 2.8 pound loss in week three? Well, I had a couple of very difficult days. Overall, now that I see my results, I'm pretty happy with it. But if you were to have asked me on Thursday and Friday, I was ready to give in. They were very, very rough days. And um, I mentioned C-Dub before, but I remember him leaving a comment saying that you truly find out what hunger is when you're on OMAD. And I am telling you on Thursday and Friday, I had severe hunger pains. Like, I don't know that I've ever really felt hunger pains like that. So I was so hungry, you know, in both days it was like around noon, one o'clock. So I knew I had to push myself to at least three o'clock to eat. So I made it through those days, but it was very much a struggle. I also had my sister come visit on Saturday and Sunday, and I was really, oh, I was a little bit stressed out about it because I didn't want to impact their visit with me, with them feeling uncomfortable about eating in front of me. I made sure I had tons of fruit, tons of snacks, stuff like that in the house but it went really good once they once they got used to it and if you take a look at my day 20 video i actually had my sister um talk about how it felt like to come into a house of an old matter and hang out so that was pretty informative but she, they they got on board and they they were pretty quickly okay with eating in front of me i think it's because they knew it really wasn't an issue for me anymore i really um, luckily on Saturday and Sunday, I really had, wasn't hungry. And when it was time to eat, it was like, oh, it's time to eat already. So it wasn't like my mind was on the food and on the meal. So that went really good. And I'm really happy with that. So overall, week three was awesome. I have got nine more days of my 30 day challenge. I'm still wondering if I'm going to continue. I think I'm going to let the scale tell me if I should keep moving in this direction on next Monday. I'm kind of shocked that I haven't hit a plateau because normally in most, most of diets I've done in the past, it seems like in week three and four, my weight loss slows down. May not be a complete plateau, but slows down. Like when I took a look back on my Weight Watcher um, app and looked at what my results were, I think I was lucky to have lost a half pound, pound that day. 
So it's like my weight loss would start slowing down around week three. Now, the difference is, is I had bigger weeks in week one and two. So we will let the scale decide on Monday what my next move is. Will I continue on OMAD? I know I love intermittent fasting, so it may even be a different kind of intermittent fasting, but I'm still, I'm going to let Monday decide that. And I'll share with you Monday what I'm going to do in my next 30, because Monday is week four, but I still have a, couple, a few um, straggler days left. So I'll probably do a, a Monday and then I'll probably, you know, a Monday share of weight loss and review. And then I'll probably do a full overview video with the complete weight loss. So I'm pretty um, sure that I'm going to stick with o OMAD. I am, but we will see. I will share with it that with you on my decision next Monday. So as far as uh, week three, it went great. I'm pretty happy with the results. A couple of days were tough, but that's okay. What did I do different? I did add exercise. I did two walk runs that week. So that's not totally crazy. It was just two walk runs. So that's good. I'm actually getting ready to go out for a nice walk. It's beautiful and sunny out. And I watched this video from my YouTube friend, Sandra, who talks about getting outside, get away from all this blue light that's making us sick. Our cell phones, our computers, our TVs, not to mention all this lighting we have in our house when we're cooped up. And we need to get out in that fresh air in the sunlight. So I'm going to try to not do so much treadmill or Planet Fitness. And when it is nice out, when it's not raining, cross our fingers, uh, we can get out. I'm going to get out there and do something outside. I do en enjoy the outside. So I'm going to focus on that. But that's what I did different. Two workouts, walk, run. I also switched on Friday. I was just struggling so much. And I had watched a YouTube video from Dr. Berg that talked about how, you know, drinking half of your body weight in water is actually flushing out the electrolytes that hold on to that energy that your body needs to get through the day. So I started thinking, well, I am drinking all this water. I tried to up that because that's what I was taught. So I have moved to electrolyte mineral water and I watched another video of his and I actually have well water. So I'm going to probably start training myself to drink well water because it has those extra mineral, natural minerals and electrolytes in it. So I am going to, anyways, I switched over to mineral electrolyte water on Thursday night, I believe. Yes, Thursday night, maybe Friday morning. So that was a change I did. And I think that I think there's a difference in my body. Maybe I'm holding on to stuff my body needs a little bit better. So those were the two big things that I changed. I, I have to say I think that they've helped some. We will see because I'm going to stick with those. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm, like I said, I'm getting ready to work out. So I'm going to stick with those for week four. But overall, week three, great. 2.8 pound loss. Overall weight loss, 11 pounds. Can't get angry about that. So uh, I will talk to you tonight. All right.